During this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add an exit pop-up to your page using the exit splash feature that we have with Instant Builder 2.0. Okay, so here I am logged into one of my sales pages and let's say I wanted to go ahead and add an exit pop when people try to leave my page. So the way that we're going to do that is we are going to click on the gear symbol, but first we're going to go to the page that we want to add the exit pop to, of course. Then we're going to click on the gear symbol here. We're then going to click on exit splash and on the right hand side, the menu is going to pop up and we're going to click on enable exit splash. Next, we're going to enter our message that we would like to appear in the pop up. So I could say something like, wait, don't leave yet. Click stay on this page to download our report for free. Okay. So maybe I was selling a report for $7 and I can say, Hey, don't leave yet. You can download it for free or something along those lines. And then the exit splash URL is going to be the page that we redirect them to if they decide to stay on this page. So basically I will put just Google for this example so I can show you how it works, but you would put your website where they can, you know, opt in for the free report or something along those lines. Okay. So I'm going to publish this page really quick and we'll test it out and make sure that it's working well. So here I am previewing the sales page. And when someone goes to exit off of it, like I do here, we're going to see it pops up with this notification that says, wait, don't leave yet. Click stay on this page to download our report for free. So then the person can click stay on this page, for example. And when they do, it's going to redirect them to Google just like that or whatever URL that you enter as the exit splash URL. And that's just how simple it is to add the exit splash to your websites.